Hey guys, what's going on? Oh my goodness. What? I hope y'all are doing well. What is going on? I just got to move a couple things around. Welcome back to the stream, everybody. Welcome back. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. And uh, yeah, holy crap, it's Wednesday. It's a special day today. Last night was a great night. And uh, as people kind of go, uh, start to load in here, <laughs> we are going to continue on and uh, do our intro. What's going on? No way. Moonlight T21. What up? What is going on? Holy jeez. Wanderers here too. They're both there. Hello, Mr. Republic. I have prepared for you a surprise. Now or shall I wait? You should wait for a few more viewers, Wanderer. <laughs> It's broken. No, <laughs> that's all right. You'll, I'm sure that uh, Wanderer will get that fixed very, very soon. Good, sir. Um, let's uh, play some music while we while we wait for a few more people to kind of start filing in here. So it, today is a very special day. Today, um, I was accepted into the affiliate program on Twitch. So it, it's uh, really fun to actually be able to do that, um, to actually be ready uh, uh, to start um, taking advantage of a lot of the Twitch uh, perks and Twitch um, items that, you know, help, help streamers become just that much better as you can see there is no green screen behind me today it's because we're just gonna have some fun you know we're just gonna get sorted tonight and uh i i guess it's it was fate that ends ended up getting me uh to this point as i become affiliate uh having three or more viewers watching on twitch at the same time uh streaming more than seven times in a month uh more than uh, um eight hours of stream time and uh having over 50 plus uh followers on twitch now there are a couple of things that uh that we have to do here we've just got to get onto youtube here for a second here just got to pop up my chat on youtube because sometimes the chat doesn't uh, go on too forward hey natural high five what's going on my friend Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. As you can hear in the background right now, we are play listening to some Harry Potter music. Uh, there's a reason for that. We are going to get sorted into, or not we, but I will get sorted into the into my house. And apparently, there's a running <laughs> a running bet on which uh, house I'm going to get sorted into. Please let me know if my volume is too lo uh, loud on the music. I will change that for you. I'm still. I, sometimes you never know how loud it is on the other end. You just gotta give me some feedback. That's what this whole stream is about, you know? Feedback and being cool and hanging out. And uh, we're we're just gonna have some, some 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 fun. Some fun tonight. We're gonna put some of this in a bun. Get some live streaming done. We set up a straw poll. Go to straw poll, not me. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. Cast your vote. Which house will Brian be sorted into? <laughs> That's awesome. Aw, oh, thank you. Sounds good, natural high five. That is sweet. That is super cool. All right, let's uh, let's get some of this uh, s the beginnings. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's do uh, our intro and get this uh, this all sorted out. And um, uh, yeah, let's get this sorted and start the intro and get this show on the road, shall we? Boom, do it. <laughs> Do 
There it is. There it is. Oh my goodness. We are uh, going over to Pottermore here. <laughs> I'm going to get, I have to put in the chat. Give me a second here. Browser source. I think it's browser source two. There it is. There's a chat. Get that chat going. Get that underneath there. Make it all fantastic. All right. Hey, what's going, Wemix09? Welcome back, I guess. <laughs> uh, I think I don't have uh, my my proper titles on. I gotta make sure I gotta change those titles and the games that I'm playing. I did run run a little bit late today. There was some uh, some things that I had to do and take care of at um, for my, the community group that I work with. Uh, let's see here. Harry Potter sorting and chill update all just gotta edit update this edit here IRL hey what's up what's up I see <laughs> update and I'm just waiting for a few more people to kind of log in and get ready to go mm -hmm. channel we we'll have to change the category to uh, people and blogs is this what it is People and blogs, that's what it's called. <laughs> Gryffindor. <laughs> There's a straw poll going on. Alrighty. All changes saved, ready to go. All right. <laughs> What's all this? Is it this is the house sorting, Ryan? <laughs> what is it? This is my this is my celebration. The celebration of <laughs> the celebration of this beautiful uh, thing that we like to call browser for source browser um brian's republic we did hit affiliate status on uh on twitch so um yeah i'm kind of i'm kind of excited that we get to do this a little bit four or five in browser source i just had to finish off a little bit of uh browser adding browser sources here add browser source uh -uh. source okay And then plus another browser source. Uh, number five is what I think that is. Okay. And then plus browser source. Oops. Do do do. Uh, what is it? Two. No, oh, it's four. There we go. We are going to be, there we go. We are going to be going and uh, doing our sort. We're going to discover my Patronus, but actually my Patronus is a Pikachu. You see that? Expectro Patronum! Pikachu! I'll stop. Sorry. Um, 
uh, we have a wand ceremony, and then I don't know if I want to join the Ilvermorny house. Ilvermorny house. I mean, let's face it, I I'm Hogwarts first, so I come for my family later for me. Sounds good, Ryan. No problem, my friend. Wolf Welcome, Wolf Whisperer. Who else is here? Kitty. Hello, Kitty. We wick some no nine random stuff. Welcome, Steve. Thank you for coming. Daryl's here. Renegade. What is here? Everybody's here. All right. It looks like our stream is ready to go. Let's get this show on the road. <sighs> All right. I feel that I am a Hufflepuff. Um, and uh. I, I, I don't know if I'm a Slytherin, you know, not, not Slytherin, not Slytherin, anything but Slytherin. Is there a hat? Do I have a hat here somewhere? I don't have a sorting hat. Anything but Slytherin. <laughs> okay, I got to stop. Oh, man. Does anyone think this man is ambitious? <laughs> people think I might go Ravenclaw. Some people think I might be uh, like um, Gryffindor. But we will see. Let's let's get the show started. Today. Be sorted and discover your house. All right, let's join join our Ho Hogwarts house. Uh, read the story. Uh, can I read the story? Is there I can read a story. How long is the story? Oh, it's, a, it's about a couple pages. That's not bad. The Sorting Hat by J.K. Rowling. The famous Hogwarts Sorting Hat gives an account of its own genesis in a series of songs sung at the beginning of each school year. Legend has it that one, that the hat once belonged to one of the four founders, Godric Gryffindor, and that it has jointly enchanted by all four founders to ensure that students would be sorted into their eponymous houses, which would be selected according to each founder's particular preferences in students. Ah. The Sorting Hat is one of the cleverest enchanted objects most witches and wizards will ever meet. It literally contains the intelligence of the four founders. can speak through a rip near its brim. Oh, Moonlight Tea! Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Moonlight Tea. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for hitting that, that donation button. I really do appreciate it, good sir. Let's let's get moving here and... Uh, uh, thank you so much. We'll, we'll, we'll keep on going. We'll keep on going. <laughs> and is skilled at... Legilimens? Legilimens. I always, I could never pronounce it properly. Which enables it to look into the wearer's head and divine and divine his or her capabilities or mood. It can even respond to the thoughts of the wearer. Ooh. The sorting hat is notorious for refusing to admit it has made a mistake in its sorting of students. On those occasions when Slytherins behave altruistically or selfishly, when Ravenclaws flunk all their exams, when Hufflepuffs prove lazy yet academically gifted. Hey, that's me! Lazy and academic. I'm not acad No, I'm never, I've never been academically gifted. <laughs> and when Gryffindors exhibit cowardice, the hat steadfastly backs its original decision. On balance, however, the hat has made remarkably few errors of judgment over the many centuries it has been at work. That sucks. It doesn't even get retirement fund. Sorry for cutting off last time. All good, my friend. All good. Shine T, what's going on? Look at the sorting hat. Ooh, he's... That's what she thought it would look like? Okay, they did a real good thing. J.K. Rowling's thoughts. The sorting hat does not appear in my earliest plans of Hogwarts. Oh, really? I debated several several different methods for sorting students because I knew from early on that there would be four houses, all with very different qualities. The first was an elaborate Keith Robinson-ish machine that did all kinds of magical things before reaching a decision, but I did not like it. It felt at once too complicated and too easy. Next, I placed four statues for the four founders in the entrance hall, which came alive and selected students from the throng in front of them while the school watched. I don't know. I don't know why they would make students wear thongs. Uh, this was better, but still not quite right. Finally, I wrote the list of the ways in which people can be chosen. Eeny, meeny, miny and Mo. Speaking of which, Hermione was her her name was part of that there. Short straws chosen by a team captains, names out of a hat, names out of a talking hat, putting on a hat, the sorting hat. And done. And scene. <laughs> Alright, this is this is how it is. Everyone looks like a bunch of crazy people with uh hats on. The sorting hat's ready to go. 
and uh, it looks like we're gonna do the sorting ceremony look at that all right let's go to go back and we'll begin the experience forest oh my gosh this is not good I don't know <laughs> I'm so scared now. <laughs> Forest or river? Um, I'm like a, like a forest. No, 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 no. I'm like a river. Cry me a river. I don't get that question either. But we're gonna do another a quick question, uh, another questionnaire after this one. We will, we will get that. We will select. Okay. Given the choice, would you rather invent a potion that would guarantee you love, glory, wisdom, power? Um, see, for me, I wouldn't want love. I'd rather have it. I would rather find that naturally. Um, glory. Uh, I mean, like if I didn't work for it. I don't know. I don't think I would. Wisdom is a is is a contender. Power, I don't think is a contender for me. I don't, I don't really want power. I I want wisdom. I want to know. I want to have that knowledge to know and to be wise about my decisions. So okay, wisdom. All right. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? You know, you want the glory. <laughs> People say I want glory. I don't want glory. I want I want to be I want to be like okay, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. But still. Tabby cat. Siamese cat. We are Siamese if you please. Ginger cat. Ginger. Black cat. Ooh. Wait, what was the first one? Tabby cat? Oh, tabby cat. All right. White cat. Tawny owl. Screech owl. Brown owl. Snowy owl. Hedwig is was a Hedwig was a snowy owl. Hedwig, Hedwig, Hedwig. Hmm. Let's see. Candy B, what's going on? Welcome back. No ways here as well. Barn owl. Common toad. Natter Jack toad. Dragon toad. Dragon toad. Hmm. Dragon toad. Harlequin toad. What's a harlequin toad? Does it write novels? Eh? Yeah, it writes novels? No. Or three toad tree toad. Hmm, where's the crow? Ka! <laughs> Jeremy. Ka! I think. Okay, so so I never understood this this part. Um I think each animal will be able to to do things for their their uh, wizard. My my thing about it all, I always felt that the toads were a little useless. If the dragon toad was actually a dragon, that would be cool. But in all honesty, I wouldn't do so. Um, I would do a, a screech owl probably, or or even a um, a Siamese cat. I would do black, either a black cat or black cat or screech owl. See, I found that the screech owl or even owls themselves are much more useful because they can get messages, you know, across long distances and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, let's do screech owl. What do you, what are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Apparition, disapparition. Uh, to apparate is pretty cool. Transfiguration, turning one object into another. Uh, that's pretty cool too. Flying a broomstick, no. Hexes and jinxes. All about magical creatures and how to befriend and care for them, no. Secrets about the castle. I would be every area of magic I can. I'd like to learn, I'd like to like stuff all of that stuff in my brain. Put it all in there. Four boxes are placed in before you. Which would you try to open? The small tortoise shell box, 
embellished with gold inside which some small creature seems to be squeaking. Okay. The gleaming black, jet black box with silver line marked with the mysterious rune you that they are sure that you are not a witch or wizard. What makes ask what makes them think so? Agree and whether they'd like a free sample of a jinx. <laughs> Agree and walk away, leaving them to Oh. I think I would tell them I'd I'd probably make them I th probably think that I'd I try to make them all go crazy. <laughs> Y'all crazy, man. Y'all are crazy. Select. Okay. A troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It is all about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures in which order would you rescue these objects from the trolls club if you could first the nearly perfect cured dragon pox then second records going back a thousand years finally a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes Ooh. Uh... Holy crap. I would protect the runes. I protect the runes. Oh no, hold on. Perfect. I nearly. No, I would do the dragon pox first. And then the runes. Dragon pox? Yeah. One, two, three. This is the one I would select. Heads or tails? Uh, I always call heads. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I have never been sorted before. I've never gone to Pottermore before. This is the first time I've ever done it. I've always wanted to get sorted. I've always wanted to go to Potter Pottermore. I, I, I wore the color. Wore the color. He's not a badger though. He's like a bear. Check out that. I love this guy. He's awesome. I felt I, I had I felt Hufflepuff as soon as I started. Hufflepuff. I was just like like there's no way like I mean I would for me as a person I would love to be that that Gryffindor. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations for being sorted into Hufflepuff. I'm going to share my house. That's what I'm going to do. Hashtag knew it. <laughs> Hashtag streaming. Hashtag. Hashtag. Tweet. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. I am actually surprised. I was like, I, you know, man, I feel like I'm a Hufflepuff. I like, like some of my things that I do is more Hufflepuffish than Gryffindorish. You know, if that, if that's even making sense to you. Yes. Okay. Who, wait, where, where do you get to go to the poll? Where is that poll? Am I able to see the, the straw poll? Baz sorting bets. <laughs> <laughs> Slender Baz. Okay, Hufflepuff. I I, put, I could put Hufflepuff. Let's vote. Yeah, fifty percent of you chose Hufflepuff. Yeah, Gryffindor. I had a feeling too. I had a feeling too on the Griffin. The the it may have been Gryffindor. I you know I'm I'm not a Slytherin. Let's face it. 
I'm not I'm not this I'm not the Slytherin type, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shenanigans. <laughs> oh man. I'm so happy. That's awesome, guys. I just got sorted into my house. Okay, more about my house. Let's let's find out about our house. Brian, welcome to your personal Parmore page. Welcome to House Hufflepuff. You probably know that some Hufflepuff's most renowned members include Nymphadora Tonks and Cedric Diggory. I knew I was I was gonna be Reno you know, um, Jason Cullen related to that vampire. I mean Cedric Diggory. But did you know that Hufflepuff's house ghost, the Fat Friar, still resents the fact he was never made a cardinal? Or that Hufflepuff has produced the fewest dark wizards of any house at Hogwarts? Really? Wait, hold on. Does that mean that Gryffindor has more dark wizards? Ah, <gasps> crazy. Here, you can discover more about your beloved house through writing uh, through writing by J.K. Rowling, articles in Pottermore. Well, it is Hufflepuff news. Okay, that's awesome. There's Cedric. Hufflepuff traits are loyalty, <coughs> patientality, I mean, patience, fair, hardworking, and true. Aw. Guys, you know me. I, I should download a Hufflepuff wallpaper. Oh, that's a long one. I, don't, I think I'll read that to myself later on. <laughs> Let us go and get. I think the next portion that we're going to do right now doesn't really suit his personality. <laughs> People are altruistic, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. Let's go back to... Let's discover my Patronus. But everyone knows that my Patronus is a Pikachu. Right? Pika -pi. Pikachu, right? All right. Let's discover my Patronus. If you guys don't know what Patronus is, we'll go through a little bit of the Patronus thing. Okay, this is Patronus Charm by J.K. Rowling. Or rolling, however you want to call it, pronounce it. But the Patronus is the most famous and most and famously difficult defensive charm. The aim is to produce a silvery white guardian or protector which takes the form of an animal. The exact form of the Patronus will not be apparent until the spell has been successfully cast. One of the most powerful defensive charms known to wizard kind. The Patronus can also be used as a messenger between wizards. Like Wi-Fi and cell phones. Then and texting. As pure protective a magical concentration of happiness and hope. The recollection of a single talisman memory is essential in its creation. It is on, the only spell effective against Dementors, obviously. Dementors are evil, scary things. With black, they, they suck all the happiness away from you. The majority of witches and wizards are unable to produce Patronuses, and to do so is generally considered a mark of superior... Oh, I did not know that. See, in the movies, and actually in the books too... Harry was able to teach all of his classmates who was in Dumbledore's army to produce their Patronuses. So, yeah. Does that mean that's true or is just Harry Potter a, a really good teacher? That's the real question, right? <laughs> Some witches and wizards um, may manage an incorporeal, incorporeal Patronus, which resembles a massive or wisp of silvery vapor or smoke. In some cases, a witch or wizard may choose to produce an incorporeal Patronus deliberately if he or she wishes to disguise the form of its it generally takes. Remus Lupin, for instance, uh, is afraid that his corporeal Patronus gives too much away because he's a werewolf. The incorporeal Patronus is... Incorporeal Patronus is not a true Patronus, and while it will give limited protection, cannot provide the defensive power of the corporeal Patronus which has the form and substance of an animal. The Patronus charm is one of the most ancient of charms and appears in many accounts of early magic in spite of a long association with those fighting for lofty or noble causes. The Patronus is not unknowing among dark wizards while there is a widespread... See, this is what I don't get. So you can't produce a Patronus if you're a dark wizard. Can't you like produce a dark Patronus? You never know, right? Uh, dark wizards said who was devoured by maggots. Ooh. A rare few witches and wizards of questionable morals have succeeded in producing the charm. Yes, Dolores Umbridge, because she's crazy, is able to pr produce her cat Patronus, which is scary. 
and can and protect herself from like a crap ton of debentures at all times like she just she's really talented i bet you it may be that a true and confident belief in the rightness of one's actions can supply the necessary happiness however most such men and women who become desensitized to the effects of the dark creatures with whom they were may ally themselves regard the Patronus as an unnecessary spell to have in their arsenal. No reliable system of pre predicting the form of the individual's Patronus has ever been found, although the great 18th century researcher Charms, Professor Catalyst Spangle, set forth certain principles that widely accept as, as true. The Patronus asserted Spangle re represents that which is hidden, unknown, and necessary within the personality. Okay. And goes a little bit longer, a lot longer. And there's the, there's the Patronus, Harry's Patronus. It's the stag. All right, all right. Let's go. And discover my Patronus, shall we? Oh, better with headphones. going on should I click I'm scared. I didn't get it. Did it? Is it uh, loaded properly? Hmm. You hit the reload button. Togepi, exactly. Uh, I solemnly swear I'm not a, I'm up to no good. Well, I don't think it's loading properly, guys. Bring you back with the resurrection stone. <laughs> Still not loading properly. There we go. It's loading. The 
The Patronus is kind is a kind of positive force, a projection of the very things that the Dementor feeds upon. Hope, happiness, and the desire to what? Oh, is this like HTML5 3D renderings? Holy crap. This is pretty cool. It's too bad that I had to turn off uh, graphics on this leaf blade. Stay calm. First instinct. And try again. What if I'm missing stuff? Okay, this is weird. to react more quickly. I don't think uh, my my browser is doing too too well on this. The browser's not working. Use your screech owl, Huffy. Is webcam lagging too? It's like I'm missing it. Maybe if I make it smaller? Huh. 
Huh. See, I can't even I can't even click it. It won't allow me to click it. Okay, I think I know where to go. I, I think I know how to do it now. As soon as I see the three, I just have to click. Well, I think I, I think I'm a person who can't produce a Patronus. <laughs> it actually sh it my my cursor turns into a hand, and I have to capture it. I, I hear I hear that it's gonna go it's gonna go tink Missed it. Oh, there it is. That's one. Oh, I missed it. Oh. Hey, Peyton Ink, what's going on? Hold on here. Let me let me go put this into full screen. Intro. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pause you. Go back. Settings and advanced and system. Use hardware and relaunch. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but I want to get cho I want to choose it properly. Okay, there we go. Much better. You won't be y'all be able to see it, but you can hear it. For some reason, I can't I can't capture it properly. Hold on a second here, actually. Hold on, browser one. Maybe I can figure figure. No, nope, didn't work. Remove. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it you won't y'all won't be able to see it unfortunately but i'm gonna i'm gonna get this patronus sorted out now it's using my graphics card discover is what i chose the first one 
it's really it's really relying on my my graphics card right now bone I chose bone for the second one stone oh yeah maybe I can do that Uh, how do you do a desktop capture? I chose forever next. Display capture? There we go. Together. I found it. Advise. Yay, finally. I had, had to do a display capture. Now you get to see what's on my, my browser desktop. My desktop <laughs> buttons. Click and drag to release your Patronus. I'm a Rottweiler. I have a Rottweiler. It's like a Pikachu. Hashtag pro streamer. <laughs> Hashtag Rotty. Hashtag tweet. <laughs> Expectro Patronum. I have, I have a doggo. I got a doggo for a. Sorry, man. Sorry, it, it just. I'm sorry, man. That's. It was it was fun while it lasted, right? At least we know what my Patronus is. All right. Uh, return to my profile. So I have a Rottweiler Patronus, and let's discover my wand now. Woohoo! Actually, uh, we are gonna put you in front, in front of display capture, and you will be bigger, and my face. Hashtag pro streamer. Hashtag know how to use your uh, <laughs> your streaming software. <laughs> Whoever told me to use to get my desktop display, thumbs up. I think it was probably Renegade or Midnight or anybody who's smarter than me. All right, all right. Hufflepuff got a man's best friend. <laughs> Woohoo! Now for the wand. It's time for our wand ceremony. Let's discover our wand. I hope you guys are, are are liking the stream so far. This is just a hangout, a relaxing stream, you know. We just, we're just, you know, trying to make sure that everybody's happy. Why is oh browser source five? Let's put this back over here. Oh, let's put this down here for now. So you can't see. And browser source four. We need to put how many people are watching. How many people are watching? Can I put it above my face actually? Hashtag pro streamer, hashtag Brian's Republic. <laughs> We've still got fifteen watchers. Okay, so Mr. Olivander. We gotta read the story, man. How long is it? It's not it's pretty short. The family of Olivander 
has long been associated with the mysterious profession of wand craft. It is said that the name means he who owns the olive wand, which suggests that the original Ollivander arrived in Britain from a Mediterranean country, olive trees not being native to the UK. Mr. Ollivander himself believes that his earliest forebears in this country arrived with the Romans and set up t stall subsequently shop to sell uh, to ancient British wizards whose wands were crude of construction and unreliable in performance. Mr. Ollivander is arguably the finest maker of wands in the world, and many foreigners travel to London to purchase one of his wands in preference to those on offer in their native lands. Mr. Ollivander grew up in the family business in which he showed precocious talent. He had the ambition of improving upon the cores and wand wood woods hitherto used and from his earliest days conceived a single-minded, even fanatical determination. Okay, there we go. I don't know what happened there, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, produced merely and by encasing the whiskers of a favorite kinesel or the stalk of a dittany plant that once saved the wizard's father from poisoning or the mane of a kelpie, a witch had once met on holiday in Scotland in the customer's favorite wood. The best wands he believed had cores of immensely powerful magical substances, which were ex expertly, which was expertly, Expertly enclosed in specially selected and complementary wand woods, the result to be matched to the, an owner with whom the wand itself felt the most affinity. So you have to have an affinity for the wand. While there was initially substantial res resistance to this revolutionary way of crafting wands, it swiftly became clear that Ollivander's wands were infinitely superior to anything that had come before. His methods of locating wand woods and core substances, marrying them together and matching them in, in, to ideal owners are all jealously guarded secrets that were coveted by rival wand makers. I don't think I did. For some reason, I disconnected. I don't know why. Oh, look, there's Ollivander himself. Ah, Mr. Potter. There he is. Which wand will you choose? Discover your wand. Let's do it. Let's does it to it. <laughs> Click here. Bloop. All right. Let's begin the experience. To ensure we find the perfect wand for you, it's very important that you answer the following questions. Honestly, first of all, would you describe yourselves as average height, short, tall? For a Filipino person, I am actually a tall, and I, I I'm a tall person. I'm five ten, so um, five eleven. No, I mean six foot two with heels. <laughs> uh, man, uh oh, what's going on? Uh, select tall. Uh, did I just lose everybody on Twitch? Give me a second here, guys. Yeah, just for some reason it says that there's nobody watching. It says offline. It shouldn't be. I am online. Oh no, I'm I'm there. All good. All right, that's fine. Dark brown and black. Hmm. And you, my eyes are dark brown and black. Oh. Brown. Hazel. Blue, gray. Red. Are your eyes red? Or bloodshot? <laughs> my, I'm dark brown. My eyes are dark brown and black. black. Select. Was the day on which you were born... An even number or an odd number? Mine was an even number. That was a weird connection. Do you most pride yourself on my kindness? Actually, I do. I feel that, at, at, at least I hope I, I, I am. Optimism? 
determination, resilience, imagination, intelligence, originality. Originality, I like that originality piece, but I do take on uh, uh, a lot of folks that I admire. Some of their personality traits I kind of capture. So I, I don't know if I'm really original. I would say optimism would be another one, a close second for sure. But I think um, I pride myself in my kindness. Uh, I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> I hope so. I hope that that's the case. Let us select that one. Traveling alone down a desert road. Oh, hold on. Let me double check. Oh, that was loud. Hopefully that didn't blow out your ears because it blew out mine. Traveling alone down a desert deserted road. Whatever that song is. Let's do some Ghibli music. All right. So traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue left towards the sea, ahead towards the forest, or right towards the castle? I... Hmm... I would go left, left towards the sea. I love water. Do you most fear fire, darkness, isolation, small spaces, or heights? Hmm. I fear isolation. Renegade what? You're an adder? <laughs> Select. In a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? Ornate mirror. Dusty bottle. Golden key. Silver dagger. Bound scroll. Glittering jewel or black glove. I would be... I would do... Sorry, family calls. Sounds good, Ryan. You have a good one. Thank you for stopping by, good sir. We'll see you on the next stream. Golden key? Or silver dagger? Bound scroll. Glittering jewel. You know what? I think I would be a silver dagger. Silver lime wood with a phoenix feather core, 13 inches, and slightly yielding flexibility. <laughs> awesome I have a phoenix core raise the roof for the phoenix yeah let's let's tweet that too shall we hashtag stream hashtag phoenix phonix not phonix Phonics. Hashtag. No. Two hashtags good enough. Tweet. More about my wand. There we go, guys. Brian is in. Uh, we've learned that I have a doggo for uh, for my my Patronus. It's a Rottweiler, which is actually pretty cool. There's a really awesome picture. I have to find the picture of it, but this cute little rottweiler when as a puppy i was holding it in in my oh wow it really knows me doesn't it huh crazy <laughs> all right let's see silver lime wood phoenix feather core slightly yielding flexibility 13 inches in length silver lime it's a very unusual unusual and highly attractive wand wood was greatly in vogue in the 19th century. Oh, I'm a hipster. 
Demand outstripped supply and scrupulous wand makers dyed substandard woods in an effort to fool purchasers into believing that they had purchased silver lime. The reasons for these wands' desirability lay not only in their unusual handsome appearance, but also because they had a reputation for performing the best for seers and those skilled in legilimens. Legilimens, there you go. Mysterious arts, both with which consequently gave the, the possessor of a silver lime wood wand considerable status. Ooh, status. <laughs> when demand was at its height, wand maker Arturo Cephalopos claimed that the association between silver lime and clairvoyance was a falsehood circulated by merchants like er, Ollivander, <laughs> Ollivander's granddad, who have overstocked their workshops with silver lime and hope to shift their surplus, but Cephalopos was a slipshod swan maker and an ignoramus, and nobody, seer or not, was surprised he went out of business. <laughs> the Phoenix. This is the rarest. Whoa! Rarest core type. Yeah! Rock and roll! Phoenix feathers are capable of the greatest range of magic, though they may take longer than their either unicorn or dragon cores to reveal this. They show the most initiative because I think, um, Voldemort's uh, core was Phoenix, and so was Harry Potter's. And the Phoenix that gave the that, and if I remember the Lord, the Phoenix that gave the core to Harry's wand, uh, only gave another to his brother, <laughs> Voldemort's wand. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the rarest core type. Phoenix feathers are capable of the greatest range of magic, though they have, they may take longer than either unicorn or dragon cores to reveal this. They show the most initiative, sometimes acting on their own accord, a quality that many witches and wizards dislike. <laughs> Phoenix feather wands are always the pickiest when it comes to potential owners, for the creature from which they are taken is one of the most independent and detached in the world. These wands are the hardest to tame and to personalize, and their allegiance is usually hard won. Oh, I'll make you, I'll, I'll win it. I'll win you. 13 inches in length. The following notes on one length are taken from the notes by Mr. Garrick, Ollivander Wandmaker. Most wands will be in the range of between 9 and 14 inches, while I have sold extremely short wands, 8 inches and under, and very long wands, over 15 inches. These are exceptionally rare. They're just making me feel like special and stuff. This is, this is funny. They're just like, oh, Brian, I bet you it says for every everybody's wands. Just like it says that these are exceptionally rare in the latter case. A physical peculiarity demand the, the excessive wand length. However, abnormally short wands usually select those in whose character. Or does that mean that oh, the bigger ones are the rare ones? Uh, either way, um, many small witches and wizards are chosen by longer wands. I'm not short. I'm 5'10". <laughs> I'm like 6'2 in heels. <laughs> Slightly yielding flexibility. The following notes. Go on. Flexibility or rigidity denotes a degree of adaptability and willingness to change possessed by the, wan the wand and owner pair. Although, again, this factor ought not to be considered separately from the wand wood, core, and length, nor of the owner's life experience and style of magic, all of which will combine to make the wand in question unique. There we go. That's it. That's the, that's what we're, we're looking at. We are in hu Team Hufflepuff. We are in House Hufflepuff. My Patronus is a Rottweiler. Expecto. Patronum! Expecto Patronum! Yeah, I love it. My books. Oh, I have all these books already. They're over here. See that? Uh, cool. I'm actually very happy right now. <laughs> Oh yeah, Newt Scam Scamander is also a uh, was also a Hufflepuff. If you guys don't know that, and um, yeah, I'm so happy I did this today. I'm gonna read this later. This is this is good for a nice hot cup of 
coffee and just hanging out and chilling. It looks like the Hufflepuff house looks like a Hobbit house. <laughs> this is from Kiki's Delivery Service. How <laughs> did I not notice sooner? <laughs> yes, it is. I'm glad you're you're liking the music. It's a relaxing type of stream tonight, guys. It's uh, it's a little bit of a thank you as well. I know we're, we're not playing any Final Fantasy games right now, as of right now, but uh, I'm I really want to thank you guys for for hanging out with me, for for getting me into that um, that affiliate status on Twitch, and uh, I want to take a, some more, a, a few moments right now to kind of kind of get you guys uh, I know there was a, a couple of questions about um, the uh, browser source to there we go let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see how many there are watching as well Ah, in red high heels. Hey, man. So there are a few things I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, a little heart to heart, you know, just sit you guys down. Um, you know, let's 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 uh let's do let's do this. Let's talk a little bit, guys. Uh, we are um absolutely absolutely growing. The the stream is getting bigger. The the fun is there's more fun to be had and and i could not have done it without you guys um watching right now on on twitch and on youtube um i thank you guys for for really supporting this channel and the supporting this stream oh no i did that wrong stop um and uh the best thing about doing this is getting to know all of you all around the world and having fun on discord and chatting about the, the nerdiest things I, I can tell you um, and uh, there's a couple things that I want I'm gonna create a video for it but but on stream I want to talk about it right now uh, why um, I will be stopping by next week uh, the streams uh, on YouTube gaming um, I used to get almost a hundred plus, uh, like I, I was praising YouTube at one point, how it, it, people would be able to discover my content on YouTube. And, uh, as, as some of the creators have, um, alluded on YouTube this week and the week before YouTube is suppressing a lot of content, suppressing a lot of stuff that is, uh, um, you know, hindering some of the growth. Uh, that that used to happen for for the channel uh, like for example if I'd be playing Final Fantasy 12 and if I played for two hours I would get about 60 or 70 uh, impressions onto my stream for for that right and uh, hold on a second here let me lower this down a little bit just gotta make sure that I'm in my thirds there yeah that looks good um and the big thing about that is it's, it's all about discovery. If someone finds me and then they, they like the stream, they hit the subscribe button and then they can see more and uh, I'm able to play more video games and whatnot. So the problem that that, that, that kind of created is that um, the growth on YouTube has slowed considerably and very, very quickly. And um, that's why I was streaming to Mixer and Twitch at the same time. I already saw the the uh writing on the wall uh i would post up a video and then people who are subscribed to me and there's almost 300 plus subscribers on the youtube channel and they would not know i i posted something and they were very avid watchers of the stream and watchers of some of my videos and uh it I, like it just seems like it's suppressing it in people's notification boxes and stuff like that. That's why I'm, I'm, on my uh, on the way I uh, uh, try to talk to you guys and, and talk to the people on stream is make sure that you let them know to hit that notification button, the gang sign, you know, try to make it as fun and as funny as possible so that people can, you know, if they really like my stream, they can come back. Right. So uh, it's been the, the, the numbers have been declining 
and um, and I think that the one of some of the reasons that why there's even more numbers is there uh, that there's like 60 plus people actually coming into YouTube, but you only see, you know, thir three to 12, 12. And I think the 12 that you see over here is, is from all of the YouTube. And, uh, I have not seen that change in a while. So, I mean, like you, you gotta, you guys have to do it. <laughs> you guys have to understand that, 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 that it's not that it's like, I've been doing this for a year and it doesn't help that the platform is nerfing uh, its algorithm because all of a sudden it hears me say, gosh darn, <laughs> or, or someone says something on it in chat and then the algorithm goes like, oh, that's, that's not good for our advertisers. Duh. Um, so we're moving it over to, to Twitch and there's a lot of pros to Twitch. There's a, uh, that we, that, that I can see. Uh, right now you're able to if you go on twitch you can change the the quality right now you are able to uh, cheer me on with bits if you are a part you can subscribe to me uh, when I become an, uh, a, when I become a uh, affiliated you can subscribe to me if you have um, uh, a a prime account there are per perks for for subscribers who, who do that and they it it's for like little um, bit, uh, what's that thing called? Uh, little emoticons that you can design. Um, I'm able to post still stuff onto YouTube after I've streamed it. Uh, the uptime on, on, on Twitter is a little bit better as well. Uh... <laughs> no, y'all can, y'all can swear. I mean, that, see on Twitch, at least you, you won't have to worry about that. Right? Like, even though, but it's not like you, you should swear. Like I try to limit myself on swearing and I'm sure no way can recall a few times where I've dropped the F bomb a couple of times too. But this is, this is a family, this is a family channel, right? Not a family channel. It's not really a family channel. It's, it is a, a fun channel where people can just relax, be themselves and not get worried about, uh, you know, getting made fun of and, and, and all that stuff. Right? Like the, the, the crazy thing is, is that, that, that Twitch ha is giving a little bit more opportunity to the people who use Twitch. Uh, as their streaming platform. Now, on YouTube, we're, 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 what I'm going to try to do is make YouTube my channel again for my daily vlogs. So you get to see a little bit of what happens in my life and a little bit of that fun stuff. And also, you can still see some of the VODs, not some, all the VODs that I'll do or VODs that I do uh, on Twitch onto YouTube as well. Um, uh, I think there's also uh, a, a much, what's that? I have worked so hard to keep my vocab PG here. <laughs> Don't go telling me I can't start swearing now. No, no, no. I'm not saying you should swear. I'm saying if as soon as somebody actually swears by accident or they use the word damn or SHIT, <laughs> you it the algorithm t picks up on that and it's uh, on on YouTube. So Eh, but what can you do, right? She might be stealing my Australian passport. <laughs> oh, you guys are you guys are awesome. Yeah, you know, I, I we've we've been we've been growing a lot, and you know, I think uh, as as we keep growing on Twitch, I I don't think it's gonna be a loss uh, onto the YouTube scene. I think on uh, on YouTube for sure, we will find that. Um, all of my other stuff like I, I'm planning on a couple of videos uh, to help out people who want to learn OBS and uh, to learn um, to learn more about streaming and stuff like that I'm gonna do a video series on it hopefully it's something that people will like uh, I want to do a, a uh, studio tour a, a stream tour uh, use that as a platform to show my 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 gear and all my all that fun stuff um uh how to do different things see what happens goes on in my life when i'm not streaming i think i think that's what that's what i want the most is is to have have a different way of connecting with you guys and uh separating twitch and youtube i i have, I have no problem with having that other side on 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 there um and uh the big one of the big things of of twitch too 
is that there is that subscribe function as well that will help support the stream. Uh, it's a monthly type of thing. Um, people can obviously research that, uh, but we're going to try and capture it. it I really want to take this streaming thing seriously. Uh, a year, uh, maybe half a year ago, I, I would have told myself, Brian, there's no way there's no way that people would you know, really like to watch your stream. But uh, we've got over 14 plus people right now during the height of this stream, at least 17, 18 people watching. Um, uh, there's many people who believe in in the channel that they have donated some of their hard earned cash up there uh, to the channel. And um, if I can make this a full time job, I would in a heartbeat. But I still got to pay bills, right? I still got to do those things. So every every penny that gets donated here gets put gets put back into the stream. Uh, the green screen right there, the green screen behind me gets it was was purchased that pu poor little donkey that swam across uh, the Pacific Ocean from China to deliver that thing for me. It took it three months to get here, but it was because of the people who donated earlier in earlier in the year last year that I was able to get that. Final Fantasy VI and IX uh, was donated. And uh, I and you know I, I've been trying I've been I've been trying to see whether or not donation donate is the right word, but I think donate is the right word because it, it I'm, I'm crowdfunding crowdfunding to create create a stream that will you know hopefully have have a place in people's hearts in the future. <laughs> Does that sound weird? Um, yeah, you know I I enjoy uh, I enjoy that and. Uh, I, I no absolutely Fia Bear, absolutely we can do that. <laughs> absolutely. Um you know oh the water heater is still behind this green thing. <laughs> yeah, we can we can do it on the voice chat for sure, buddy. For sure. Um a, a big thing too as well as even as as I tweet away my life. As you can see I was very tweety today on all my tweets. Um the big thing that I found, I'm supporting, I, I don't, not monetarily, but I'm supporting creators uh, around YouTube and around my my city as well. I support, uh, I volunteer uh, for um, a community group for the Filipino community here in Calgary. I want to support people. And uh, I was, I, I think I've already mentioned this on one stream before, but there are some people out there who go like, man, this, this stream should be a lot bigger. Oh, how come it's not bigger? Uh, Mon the monetary stuff that's you know that's that's great it helps out a lot but the biggest thing that anybody can do is advocate for the channel that you love right um i do that for the people that i see who has who are who's passionate uh steve was uh, posting um man darn i forgot what his name is steve if you can if you can recall the stream that we sent all of uh, the the brian's republicans from from our discord to uh we went over to there because he was playing Final Fantasy V, but I found him before Steve did. You know, I started chatting with him before Steve did, um, and and shared shared his shared before Steve shared the channel. I I support those people by putting it on the side. So Renegade, what goes online and starts streaming? Uh, if I miss people's streams, I apologize. But every time I see someone stream and and I'm available to to, to stream, I'm able to go out. And, and put it on my phone and watch you and hang out and and try to be you know active in there be those people for other channels when when i'm not streaming and you and and you just don't know how much it it means to the creator that person who who sets out sets aside that time right it sets aside the time to to do something that they love Right. And I love doing this, this, this two hours, three hours a night, every Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. I love spending this time. I, 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 I've got the tears out already. <laughs> I cried on many other streams already. Final Fantasy makes me cry. Uh, and, and, and my appreciation for, for all of you guys, every single one of you guys, I, I, you know, you don't know how much it means to me that you guys are still watching. You don't know how much it means to me that you guys are so awesome and you respect the fact that we are, you know, a, a good bunch of people that, you know, wants to uh, make 
make the the streaming community this 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 section of the world a little bit better there's there's a lot of people who swear yes daedalus is his name zero underscore daedalus underscore zero he loves his final fantasy 5 and he's played final fantasy 1 2 5 and he has he has an awesome little setup as well and i'm learning from him too it shows how long it took him to complete final fantasy 1 2 3 and 4 and how long it's taking him to so far for final fantasy 5 he has a timer i don't know how he did that right i'm learning from him i'm not gonna steal it from him that's his his setup but i i could see myself using something like that in the future and you know you learn from people and uh that's that yeah so <laughs> uh but as to the totoro theme song plays behind me <laughs> i promise i already do. put stream yeah i put put my streams on mute people <laughs> renegade, renegade does swear no there's there's no problem with that but the, there's no problem with with how you who you are you can't fake who you are on stream yes you can actually you can and it's painfully obvious to a lot of people because they can see your face they can see how you act they can see the enthusiasm that you put in don't 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 change who you are because i said i said oh you, there's a lot of people who who swear uh, if, if that's part of your 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 personality and that's who you are by all means don't don't change it but i'm just saying there are streams out there who are a lot worse than how you swear renegade what uh, who are a lot worse than and uh treat treat the people who watch them a lot differently right and uh, if that means that I, this is the pinnacle, this is my 14 plus viewers for the rest of my streaming days, I have no problem with that, right? But if this means from this point, it's the start, it's the start of a journey to get to partnered, I, I, I think we're in the right direction. I think when people find this stream, people find a place where they're comfortable, where they don't have to worry about um, putting on my stream and worrying that their kid walks in and I, uh, I'm talking um, about something salty or something X-rated or something like that. I, I'm, I'm not, right? We, we all know and we speak in innuendo. <laughs> That's no problem. Um, but we, we don't take it any farther than that. Uh, we don't, we, uh, at least from what I've seen. If only these ninjas weren't hiding in my walls cutting up these onions. <laughs> all good, guys. All good. <laughs> This isn't going to be your peak. I've seen people only talk sponsors or... I, I can't talk. I, I mean... Like... You know, you guys don't know, but Oreos sponsors me already, right? Oreos... Oh, no, they don't. <laughs> One day it's going to be that way, I think. Um, but it's going to be placed in a certain section of, of the stream where it's conducive to, to call out a sponsor, right? I, I, I'm trying to be as courteous to the people who watch me. I don't want every minute like, oh, don't forget Oreos is my sponsor. You know, be poke. Don't forget to go and click and watch another Pokemon. You know, Pokemon Go. No, like it. I, I can't do that. Uh, that that would go beyond. <laughs> I know it's. I know it would be part of the the income stream that it would be to be a, an online creator, but um, it. I I promise. Mark these words because it's going to be on VOD. I promise, promise, promise that um, if there is a sponsor on here, <clears throat> that it would not be overkill, either the beginning or the end of the stream, and that's it. Uh, and maybe a little bit on the, the description. But if I do get sponsored by Doritos, I'm going to eat Doritos every day. <laughs> Dor Doritos, these are for everybody. <laughs> Nightbot hugs everyone in chat. <laughs> the reason this family first were all honest yeah that's how it is just be honest <laughs> and bongs actually i don't think you guys have seen this thing look look how beautiful this is eh birdhouse birdhouse studios in here in calgary um he has an instagram he ha his studio is about to open up and uh the awesome thing about his studio is that um, it's a little shed in the back of his house and he uses uh, a torch and he he makes these things 
Um, there it is. Uh, check out, hold on, let me do display capture. Bloop. Check out some of the things that he does over here. Nick is his name. I don't know if he wants me to say his name, but he does he does make bongs and he does make uh, uh, pipes and stuff like that. But he is a very talented artist here in Calgary. And uh, you've seen my, you've seen, you've seen uh, this thing. And he got, he, I, I paid, paid for this and uh, he gave it to me and it's beautiful. And he's going to create, create more of these. With the hay. <laughs> or A, it works. But yeah, you know, like I, I, I really like the fact that that people who are who are talented, like some of you guys on on stream, and if you guys who who want to start streaming, you totally start streaming, totally play that game that you want and and record it. I mean, Wanderer, Jiren, Renegade, what Steve? Uh, you guys have been been doing. Am I missing anybody who's been? Uh, who who's who creates stuff on here? Daryl is on uh, on his stream. Uh, if you guys are on the fence about ever hitting that stream button, know that it's going to be a long, long road to get to where you need to go. But if you hit that stream button and you love what you're doing, it it's it it won't feel like a long road. It doesn't feel like it's been a year and a half, almost a year and a half now. Um, it's it's almost May. <laughs> that's how crazy that is it's almost May um and uh it yeah I think I think I I've said everything that I needed to say oh <laughs> uh, yeah uh how's this uh, I've never done one before and since all of you are here I will do a quick question and answer for you guys no only PG stuff please um, but you guys have half an hour. I'll give you. <laughs> I will. I will take a I'll take a question from the from the floor. Do you have any questions uh, about me or my stream? I'm I'm actually really open book, anyways. So I don't know if you could <laughs> you could uh, if there's any questions that you've ever thought um, about asking me or uh, don't be afraid. You can. Uh, you can ask um, if there's no questions, which which is usually whenever I make my whenever I do my presentations, we will eat Oreos. I will eat Oreos for half an hour. <laughs> What's my favorite color? So that's a really good question. I believe my favorite color is dark, dark green, like a green trees type of thing. Um, whenever I see that, it kind of calms me down. Uh, now, the f my favorite color to wear is actually red. Uh, I have a lot. <laughs> I haven't I enjoy that. Clubhead. Question. What's your happiest moment in life? Um, I have a few happiest moments. My One of my happiest moments in life were uh, when I um, proposed to my wife. Uh, in a beach in the Philippines, uh, in Boracay. Um, and then when I married her, uh, a year later on the same day, exactly 365 days later and the birth of both of my daughters, those, those are the happiest moments of my life. I think, um, not to discount everything that my parents have done for me, but, uh, they did really well to ensure that I would be able to have those as some of my happiest moments in life. And I'm very lucky very lucky to be that are you ever going to play Mega Man yes I am going to play Mega Man uh, I may change uh, Sonic after I finish um, uh, Sonic 3 and get finally so super Sonic and hypersonic on that for I will play Mega Man I will play him uh, on Saturdays it's gonna be fun Brian what is your meaning of life <laughs> that's a great question uh, my my meaning of life is um the meaning of life to me is three things 
and it starts with an F. They all start with an F. Is one is food, because you, as you can tell, I like my food. Two is family, and three is friends. And uh, the meaning of life to me is if you have all three, um, that, in my opinion, is the meaning of life. Uh, to share food with your family and friends, to be part uh, of and be with people like that. I think that's that's my meaning of life. <laughs> if I say different later on in any other stream, I, I don't know what to say. When you walked away from this Thunder Bass game, did you go to the front door and make sure it was locked? Yes. <laughs> I actually turned on every light as I walked upstairs. <laughs> After I made sure the doors were locked. That's my I, that's actually one of my things that I do. I make sure the doors are locked before I go up. <laughs> uh, you said green? Yes, green. Dark green. That's mine. What's the water heater look like? I must know these things. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. I'll show you. I'll show you the... Plus one degrees outside right now. That's why I'm wearing shorts. It's it's shorts weather. <laughs> Hold on. Let me. This browser source four. No, three, two. Okay. This is my guitar. I call her Goldie. But this is the water heater. <laughs> so, so as you can tell. This was, this was basically what was behind me at all times in streaming, so. <laughs> what came first, the phoenix or the flame? The flame. <laughs> it was born from the ashes of the flame. If you could take your family on a holiday, where is the next place you would travel to? I think the next place I would travel to would probably be Japan, is where I wish I could go. My wife will be going to the Philippines to bring our daughters to meet their grandparents there for the first time. So that is what I'm... I, I, but I want to do Japan uh, 2020. Cross your fingers one day. Uh, what was the deciding factor in you deciding to say, Hey, I'm going to stream Final Fantasy. The deciding factor was... I was playing... I, I, I was getting stressed out at work. And I sat down. And I... I decided that I needed something to de-stress, something to go out and not go crazy. So I started playing video games, you know, uh, Rocket League. Actually, it was it was uh, the LAN party that me and my brother went to called Fragapalooza. And I felt that I de-stressed so much at Fragapalooza because I was able to play video games again. I decided to play Final Fantasy VII, and then I said, you know what, I'm going to play Final Fantasy VII and stream it and if people watch people watch so the rest is history basically i started playing final fantasy and then i watched other people who were streaming and then i did did that how long i've been married for i've been married for eight years eight years Two, yeah 2018 is this year yeah eight years oh, we got married in 2010 yeah, and my wife and I have been we're, we're together for three and a half years before that. Four years? Four and a half years? Something like that. So all together we've been together for around 12, 13 years now. And now I'm freaking crying. Oh, that <laughs> Stream froze for me. Oh no. Is, is it still uh, frozen? I hope not. Yeah, I'm really easy to make cry over this stuff. Oh, don't cry. The meaning of life, like Riku said, is monkeys. <laughs> is monkeys, that's true. <laughs> so soft-hearted too. I remember that line, the meaning of life is monkeys. And that is actually on one of my VODs for Final Fantasy VIII. What's your M? Middle name. My middle name is James. I'm Filipino. 
and yeah James Brian James <laughs> isn't that weird interweb hugs meaning life to be more humble hugs <laughs> they butch like butch uh, one degree shorts weather it is shorts weather one degrees is shorts weather full screen ten <laughs> And thank you. I love the short the, these these shirts. I'm I'm actually a big fan of Adidas. I don't know why. I don't watch uh, too much football or soccer, uh, but Adidas for life. That's all I have to say. Adidas for life. Almost. <laughs> I'm glad to be. I'm glad that we're everyone's so happy right now. Uh, I went to the Philippines once and loved it. Oh, really? Philippines is great. It's nice and hot there. Super awesome. Thanks for making me feel so. I'm glad that you guys feel feel at home, and thank you for making the banana banana hammock, banana hamut, hammer. <laughs> Am I caught up on 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 there, Sid? You know, it's whatever the heck you want it to be. It's a weird away song. Yes, it is. Who is your non? Who is your non-FF character? Oh, was it X2? <laughs> it was X2. <laughs> uh, my favorite non-Final Fantasy character would probably Son be Sonic. Or this guy. Brian James Republican. <laughs> Republic. We share middle name. Yeah, raise the roof. <laughs> There's James. James is everywhere. Do you think New Zealand is a country or an island? Or is it real? <laughs> I think New Zealand is a beautiful country. And the only the only thing that I remember from it is uh, the Hobbit. So. <laughs> Which is not bad. It's pretty good. Fia Bear needs a hammer right now. <laughs> uh Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad this stream, the stream is is. Uh, you guys are liking the stream. I, I'm I'm glad that we, we can chat and we can talk and all that fun stuff and. Yeah. Uh, when I was younger, here's a little little tidbit. <laughs> when I was younger, all my cousins called me BJ. As I got older, I told them never to call me BJ ever again. <laughs> Please don't ever call me that name again. Just Brian is fine. Oh, and actually, here's another tidbit too. My brother, Daryl, he's my younger brother. In the Filipino culture, if you look at um, uh, some of the streams, you'll or you see him typing on on Discord, you'll see him call me Kuya K, uh, like this. Not not like Ku, Ku, yeah. I have not seen the movie someone is watching. <laughs> is someone watching? This is what I don't like. I don't like this this basement. It's too big and it freaks the crap out of me. <laughs> There's a character called BJ. Yeah, yeah. There was actually a guy in my high school. His name was BJ. And every time I said, hey, BJ, I'd be like, huh? Because I was called BJ almost my entire um, uh, elementary life. I was just like, no. As soon as I realized that what that short form was, and some people some people use it, I was like, nope. Never again. Never. Give me a second here for some reason. Uh, pop out. Trying to be more humble. Clubhead, that is an awesome thing to be humble about. <laughs> uh, fair enough. I got called Sophie sometimes. Drives me insane. <laughs> it is close to Kuja. It is. My cousin's name is PJ. There's also PJ in the family. It confuses the heck out of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. PJ, Philip James. <laughs> People always ask me, like, why... Why is your name Brian? I'm like, well, my dad 
had a friend who was an American. His name was Brian. And he had another friend whose name was James, apparently. And that's where my name came from. And now I deserve an Oreo. Now we're just going to mukbang Oreos. I was thinking before I started streaming Final Fantasy, I, was, I, th I said to myself, you know what? I could, I could eat in front of people and talk to people. I would cook the food, right? Cook myself like a big meal every day and just mukbang. You just eat. That is a good, good question. The album I would play over and over again is called um, uh, it's a Tales from the City by Mobile. It's um, The band name is Mobile, and they're a band from Montreal, and they sing in English. And uh, yeah, you should totally check them out. They are fantastic. Sometimes I get called canned ice, as in so, so it sounds. The word ice and stuff. <laughs> oh no, people are so mad. <laughs> I mean, there are streamers that stream nine hours and they'll take 30 min minutes break to eat. No, I'm talking about a whole nine hours of me just eating. Nine hours of this. Of chicken once. I'm not proud of it, but I've done it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's called mukbang. If you don't believe me, type in M U K B A N G. M U K B A N G. Steve. I am uncomfortable. <laughs> Innuendos, right? You can go to innuendo, you push it farther than that, banana hammer comes, man. Banana hammer comes. <laughs> I'm not gonna repeat what I what said over here. <laughs> but how about you guys? I have some questions for you. I have some questions for you. What is, at least for the stream, what was your favorite um, from when you joined? Why did you guys hit that subscribe button? Why did you I, inflate my ego for me for a little bit? Uh, why? Why Brian's Republic? Why not so and so and somebody else? Um. There's many places, many other people who stream Final Fantasy, many other people who, who stream, for that matter. But... It, it, maybe you can do it in one word or not. It doesn't have to be long. One word or a sent like a, a three, wor three or four word sentence. That's why chat is important. Chat is the biggest thing, in my opinion. Chill stream? Yeah, yeah. That's what that's what my goal is. It felt like home and all, almost immediately. 
I'm glad that I'm glad that we're, we were able to make it that way. It's not just me. It's the people in chat chat like the biggest pe like if, if not supporting me, subscribing to me, it's these guys right here. I sub to you because you said, gosh, darn. And it was the first thing that made me laugh. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Dag nabbit. <laughs> I definitely sub because of the friendly vibe that you have always had here. Just the way you present your streams and, of course, the gameplay. This has always felt like a safe place for me and all the people to chat. I've always made it amazing too. Yes, that we've. I, I. I always want my streams to always be wel welcoming. It wasn't a big production. Like, watch this. Yeah. I feel that that I. I want it to be as simplistic as possible. Show the game. Show it. Uh, I knew from all the people, including you, that I'd be able to make friends. The way you smile, friendly attitude is why I say thank you so much, uh, Venus. I. I appreciate that. Thank you. I it, and this is this is why I do it too. Um, it's a little bit. Is it cathartic? Is that the word? A little cathartic to turn on that camera and be able to chat with people and connect with people across the internet. Hey, OP, what's going on? Finally getting a pot smoking stream session. This is not a bong. This is a, a glass, by the way. I remember when I first joined M and. M and M and Dark Cloud, yeah, and Wolf were here. I remember that. They all seemed friendly, and I loved it. Yeah, M and M, Dark Cloud was amazing. He stops by some from time to time. I'm hearing the Japanese vocals of the song in my head right now, just because I know this is the Ghibli version. It is because it's piano. It's the piano version, the best version. <laughs> hope you have a Twitch account. Hey, OP. It's Night Botsker. OP. <laughs> Someone hit. Someone put exclamation mark op on night on <laughs> on Twitch. <laughs> op, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing well, good sir. Um, we are here just chatting about the future of Brian's Republic and uh, how uh, I've hit the Twitch affiliate, and we will be um, I, my la the last uh, uh, Twitch slash YouTube stream that is going to be simultaneous is going to be on Saturday. And on Monday, it, we will be streaming uh, directly onto Twitch. I'll be making a video to outline all the pros and cons on why I'm switching over to Twitch. And uh, I'm going to continue streaming. And you'll be able to see a lot of um, my VODs still on YouTube. But uh, if you want to watch live, uh, you'll have to sign up for a Twitch account, I guess. And uh, as... Um, I think it's the most conducive uh, streaming platform for me to continue focus on and it actually will actually uh, simplify some things for me as well so hopefully that works no he has been banned for five seconds for attacking me personally <laughs> aba cbc oh i remember aba cbc oh, i missed them no oh, no i missed them darn it Every time without fail. I'm up in PDX helping my aunt out for the week. Got to face just now my niece. Oh, seen her in about five days and I'm missing her. Oh, that's, yeah, I know what you mean when you go away from the little ones. That's great to hear, OP. That is great to hear. Watch the scroll chat, OP. <laughs> Enjoy it. Yeah, Twitch should, Twitch should be uh, pretty easy, pretty simple. And all you have to type in is Brian's Republic and you'll find me. Either way, Brian's Space Republic or Brian's Republic all the way straight through. You can find me there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we, we, we can make one for Venus for sure. <laughs> Oh man, there's a. F oh, did I miss something? Is that your. Yeah, there's a few few people that you're like, where are they? Yeah. That is true. There's certain two on the eighth. She's picking up speed so fast. She already sounds more advanced than when I left. 
they grow up so like literally so fast not not even a week changes how they who they are and what they what they do <laughs> we need one for wanderer intervention because he's drunk with power <laughs> And also, uh, all the folks who have helped uh, mod on the YouTube uh, YouTube part, just wanted to let you guys know you'll you'll be getting your mod powers uh, when uh, when we start next week. So just a quick reminder on that. Uh, don't uh, if you if you feel like you don't want to be a mod anymore, let me know. Uh, I know that there are some hard situations, some difficult situations being a mod, and um, if you you need some help to sort things through or what's going on in chat or what's going on in discord let me know uh, how how i can how, if you want how you sh if you need to know how you should approach it i can help you out uh i've been a community community builder slash manager for these types of things for so, for so long and uh if you treat people fairly um you all you'll always get the best out of people um always start with with the positive side first uh, show the the ind indiscretion and then try to move forward positive positively but um, just just let you guys know uh, throws again mod powers <laughs> yeah so uh, I, our mods right now uh, are wanderer Jiren um, hopefully I pronounce that properly uh, uh, token Floyd um, the midnight streamer Floyd uh, uh, sailor Venus and Fia bear so you'll have mod powers here um, the next time I stream. So on Twitch, uh, hopefully I, I haven't missed anything that <laughs> missed anything there. Uh, I'll have I'll ask to have a weapon if we get to a point where the the current mods don't want to make that hard choice. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, you can always DM me on um, Discord if you haven't joined the Discord channel. Take a look in the description down below. Uh, find that or um, if you hit exclamation point discord I can't even do it right <laughs> this is why I have mods discord why do I why do I double D it oh my D gets doubled every time I hit it that's funny I think I need to clean my keyboard there it is Thank you, Venus. <laughs> it comes with uh, when you uh, hit the follow button and the subscribe button on Twitch, you get a cake. Uh, when you become a mod, you turn into a Moogle that uh, wields a banana hammer, or as we like to call it, a banana hammer hammer. <laughs> Double D. See, I told you, innuendos are everywhere. <laughs> I'm like an I'm I myself I'm like an A cup so if only <laughs> I want my sword now <laughs> I, uh, yeah I, I've been I used to be a clan leader for two three different clans already in my lifetime I, you know, I, I myself in my professional life, I, I manage, I, right now I am the chairman of, uh, the board for my, um, uh, community group for the Filipino community that I serve. Um, you, you just have to work with the people and really work with everybody. Make sure that, you know, everyone's hunky dory. Find out what's making them act the way they act, right? Moon Prismu Power! Mod up! <laughs> Make up! I'll stop. I, I love Sailor Moon. Don't. Don't test me. <laughs> I just started working and I heard a cup. I'm all ears. <laughs> I call being Sephiroth. Transformation theme song plays. <laughs> hey, um. Kitty. Uh, are you able to put the quality down on the stream? Hit the... What's that thing called? Hit the little gear.
Yeah, Twitch on your phone is pretty cool too. <laughs> One band angel. If it's frozen, just let it go. <laughs> I mean, I really could do his hair in like five minutes. You know, I was thinking doing Waka's hair and Riku's bikini. It's, I'm telling you, all I have to do is just make sure I do crunches for like five or six months. I'm solid. You're on the actual, not on the chat. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. What was I going to do? Um, yeah, I think, I think that's it for tonight, guys. Um, thank you guys for uh, for hanging out with me today we'll have to uh, we'll, we'll see if we can get OP to, to join Twitch if he's able to find us <laughs> we'll wait <laughs> um, there's actually a well, let's see is there if you put it down here I have a question uh, I have a couple of questions for you guys too what do you guys how do you guys feel about Starcraft. Do you think that's too gory? <laughs> Starcraft is fun. Yeah, I'm going to do one of my when I do my Mega Man stream, I may do some Starcraft streams as well, the old school. They're all little little guys too, right? Venus, I am. I will be making. I will be dubbing. Uh, Wanderer, Sir Sir Jiren of Wanderer. Starcraft. Uh, it's an old RTS game. Actually, oh, I have I have a quick question for you guys. Uh, those who actually stopped by or seen the stream, how did you guys like my Civilization stream? Did you guys enjoy that? Was it something that? Is this something that you'd probably you'd want to see more of? Um, I really like doing that, hanging out, just talking, and just playing a really slow game, not not that much conf concentration. Starcraft Two is awesome, yeah. I would I would do that. If Wanderer will accept it, as long as as long as you're willing to to help out, that's, that's all. I, I you guys are doing this out of the goodness and kindness of your hearts, and I, I appreciate that you that you care enough to to be mods and i do appreciate it would love to jump in on a discord voice server and play with you yeah that would be cool we gotta we, then we're just gonna have to try and uh, schedule it oh as well since everybody is here too um i've but you've probably seen it on the discord but i've asked for everybody's birthdays if you want to let me know when your birthday is so I can put it onto the Brian's Republic birthday calendar for myself so I can wish you guys a happy birthday. If you don't want to let me know or let people know when it is and if you want to let me know, I'm, I'm fine with that. Just send me a DM uh, and uh, we can, I'll put you guys on there and uh, you know, I, I want to know, I want to be able to say, to wish you guys happy birthday on your birthdays and, and um, it'll be, I don't know, it's just something that I feel I feel that would be would be great for me to you know uh, pay attention to uh, to my get to know my uh, watchers my subscribers a bit more and know know that for sure. Hugs everyone in chat. I blame them, Chucks. So. <laughs> I am the horse. <laughs> I love that. But yeah, um, yeah. If you can, either send me a DM on Discord, let me know, and I'll put it into my calendar and, and put it that way. Uh, also, uh, I'm I'm thinking when I hit a uh, hundred uh, followers, there's there's gonna be other things that you're gonna see pop up when I move over to the Twitch side. Um, there's gonna there, there's two different things now. Subscribers and followers are two different things on Twitch. So. Uh, if you guys want, or if when when you want, when you can on general or wherever, I find a different discussion page or start a new 
new channel um what do you think the reward rewards of hitting certain milestones should be we're, we're uh on on uh twitch right now our follower base on twitch uh is we have we are holy jeez we're at 60 followers holy crap that's gonna be a lot sooner than i thought when we hit 100 followers what do you want me to do um when i be when i move everything into affiliate portion the affiliate portion what do you what would you like to see me do uh when i hit my first uh 100 or, or actually my first 50 uh subscribers my first 100 subscribers, 200, 300, 500,000 subscribers, um, and and uh, and also so on and so forth for the followers. We, yeah, I want to do sl more slender baths. That's for sure. <laughs> um, is right. It's harder to get people to watch Twitch. Not. <laughs> it 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 was before. I'm telling you. Oh, I I don't know what's happened. Something clicked. Um, my brother helped out introduce introduce some new people. Everyone who has gone to chess tournament, yes, that's another thing too. We need to set up chess uh, chess day next month. So uh, I have to write this thing down, these things down because I'm I'm like the worst uh, for forgetting things. But but Brian, you said, and I'd be like, I know I said, I forgot. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Harry Potter trivia, in which I cannot participate because you defeat everybody. <laughs> Ooh, Mario after Mega Man. I suck at Mario games. I, I'll be honest with you guys. Sonic Hedgehog games, I can, I can play. Um, yeah. So, uh, chess day or chess tournament day, whichever one. Um, Slender Baz. When I hit uh, 10,000, when I hit 10,000 followers on Twitch, I am gonna cosplay as Waka, wearing Riku's bikini. So yeah, let me know in the Discord. Um, telling you a multiplayer games channel. Yeah, we should do that for sure. Fire Emblem? I don't, wouldn't mind doing some, some Fire Emblem as well. That's not one. Not bad at all. I would do Fire Emblem. Yeah. Play some Fire Emblem. Mega Man. Probably do Mega Man X. Do, do, do. Yeah, that's un that's something that we could we could do. Okay, sounds good. Wanderer, we'll do that. We will do that for sure. But yeah, <clears throat> I think that's that's how it's gonna be. Thank you guys. Um, what we'll, we'll do is uh, before we end the stream, I'll let you guys know. <coughs> I do raid uh, other people on Twitch. This is another good thing too. It helps a little bit more uh, for others, Twitch, watch, Twitch users and Twitch streamers for us to actually go and raid other people's channels. You don't have to stay. Um, uh, the person that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be raiding to plays mature content mature subject matter i should have said that before yesterday um if you guys want to stay and hang out and watch his gameplay you can uh, to have it play in the background for sure if it if his his uh if his game is he, he swears and stuff like that if his game is not um uh, to your liking or what how he, he is uh you can just click off um but i'm gonna do that hit that raid button hey daedalus what's going on welcome to the stream <laughs> You just caught us almost uh, ending the stream here, buddy. <laughs> uh, 
upset. We raided him earlier playing Final Fantasy V. Yes, that's what we did. Um, enjoy that cookie, Daedalus. <laughs> Hopefully that's how you... you Daedalus? Daedalus? Uh, yeah. Um, oh, okay. Yes, it's the guy... He, we we went and uh, raided his. <laughs> well, I stream every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of every week, um, Daedalus, at nine thirty p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So, uh, actually, let's uh, let us hit the the last portion. You know what? For you guys, I'm gonna hit that intro one more time, uh, and we'll do our final we'll do our final uh, closeouts and uh, end the stream. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> All right, there you go. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate every minute that you guys spend with me uh, here on stream. This was not one of the most regular streams. Uh, not not the right, not a regular stream. I'd be us usually playing Final Fantasy XII right now, but this was a uh, celebration stream. Uh, I was sorted into my house. I am. I knew it. I knew it from the beginning. I'm, I'm a Hufflepuff through and through. My Patronus is no longer a Pikachu, <laughs> but he is. Uh, an awesome Rottweiler, and I have, I'll find that picture um, as well. The, my uh, wand is a um, is Silverwood. I said Silverwood, and with the Phoenix Core, which is fantastic. Uh, so we learned a lot about who I am and what I do. We did a little bit of a question and answer just about five ten minutes ago uh, ab about me and my life and all that fun stuff, all that good stuff that goes on uh, with Brian's Republic. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's shut this baby down and get it started. If you are new here, please consider hitting that, li that like button, hitting that subscribe button, hitting that notification button on YouTube. Uh, this is one of my last, almost one of my last streams on YouTube. Saturday will probably be the last stream on YouTube. But if you are on YouTube, do that. If you're on Twitch, can please consider hitting that follow button. And I have become an affiliate on Twitch. So by Monday, you're able to cheer me on with bits and even become a uh, supporter of the stream by subscribing to the channel. Um, and if you have Twitch Prime, you can also hit that subscribe button too. And uh, I'm still working things out with that for the affiliate stream. Um, if you want, you can take a look in the description down below for all of your, my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Totally check those out because I'm very active on all three. If you want as well, and you want more of Brian's Republic, hang out in the Discord channel as well as the description down there too. And all the people, as you can see in chat, are absolutely fantastic. One of the one of the greatest chats that any streamer could ever want. Uh, these guys are are it, and they are there hanging out at all times of the night. I tell you, sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I see over 100 plus messages going off inside the, the Discord channel. I, I think we're doing something right. I think it's, it's, it's a great place to hang out. Um, I, I want to say and put, bring some attention to some of the folks who have donated to the stream. Moonlight T21 has donated another $5 today to the stream. Thank you so much, Moonlight T21. I appreciate you donating to the channel and everybody else who has done so. Kitty, MH, Nexus, uh, Growling is Better, uh, Leon, Reaper, uh, so many people who have uh, donated to the stream. It goes back into the, all that money goes back into the stream. As you can see over here, I have my green screen. Usually I have a green screen behind me. You can also check out um, uh, all those people that I mentioned too. They do have YouTube channels as well. MH, Nexus makes some videos. Some people on the chat as well. They have videos uh, going on. Uh, and streams as well. The Midnight Streamer Floyd, um, uh, Wanderer Gioren, uh, uh, Renegade What, they all stream and, and put videos on there. And hopefully, most people who are on there right now will do some of that in the future as well. Um, the best way you can support the channel, as always, is hanging out and chat. It gets people to come in and enjoy the atmosphere that Brian's Republic has. Uh, and uh, hang out, hang out and talk about Final Fantasy, Harry Potter, whatever you want. Um, and uh, they are just fantastic. And everybody is going, yes, the water heater's back. My, my mascot is back for, for one, <laughs> for another episode. Um, but yeah, no, uh, totally, totally, totally hang out and chat. These guys are, are amazing. Uh, I want to thank you guys again. Uh, it means so much to me. Uh, every minute that you guys spend here watching uh, my stream, I do it for you guys. I do it for for my peace of mind. I do it because I love doing it, um, and uh, we're, I'm going to just keep on continuing to do this. And I hope that uh, you guys can support me on Twitch uh, as I shut down the streaming side on the YouTube gaming side, as uh, 
as YouTube has been suppressing some of the videos and some of the VODs that I've done so far, and I think even my stream. So um, uh, people say, how can you tell? I can tell. You can tell on the metrics on how many people see it on a time span of two hours versus three hours. Uh, within two hours, you only get a certain amount of viewers. With three hours, you usually get a, a, a little bit more, and it's either I'm not I'm not interesting enough, <laughs> or no one's finding my my videos and my my stream. So, I, I think it's that 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 last one that I just mentioned. But I think that's it, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much again. You guys have a great night, a great day, wherever you are in the world. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Cheers.